Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We are hanging out with Sam Andrews once again, my friend. He who makes leather. Fine. Right, and uh, today we're going to talk about the Monarch the Shoulder Rig. Monarch Shoulder Rig. Yes, uh, we did a video already for it. Very popular. People seem to like the shoulder rig. I know I do. It's one of my most popular rigs. Exactly. So I've got one for the Glock. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. And I think we wanted to do a video to show some variations and sure. different things. Maybe answer some questions that didn't come up. Uh, we didn't answer in the other video. First, just to give a quick overview of the rig. What makes the Monarch harness work so well and be so comfortable? is the fact that the connector stays between my shoulder blades. It isn't up riding on my neck the way so many of the cheaper mass-produced rigs are. And with this lower back strap connecting, nothing swings or moves. It's like a vest. It's closed on three sides. It also holds if you go sideways. It doesn't swing out away from the body, so it's not gull-winging and beating you in the ribs. It's like a vest. Throw it on. Forget it's there. How long did you take to uh, develop what we've got now? This, this developed over years of trial and error. Right. right, yeah. There were many designs that went by the board. Right, so you put some really good features in it. Yes, and got okay. a lot of feedback from people who were using them, so we found out what worked and what didn't. Right, exactly. Okay, so let's take a look at the different variations right. you can get, Sam. The basic rig consists of the holster and two magazines, or in the case of revolver speed loaders. Okay. It's got the harness with the lower back strap. The holster has a little belt loop on the back, so if you wish, you can remove it from the harness and wear it as a high ride on the belt. So in okay. that case, it does double duty. Yeah, absolutely, which is a good thing. Right. Now, in variations from that, like the one I'm wearing has the three magazines. Okay. This also has the sheath for the fighting knife. Very nice. Can be removed if you don't want to wear it. It goes through a loop and then snaps over the top. Okay. We make the sheaths for a couple of different knives. The Smith & Wesson dagger or the old Gerber Mark I, that's probably the most popular. And we also do it for the Mini K bar or the Tanto. These have been the most popular of them. There's so many different shapes of knives out there, I can't accommodate every single blade there is. But these all work very well with this size of rig. We also build these rigs in all the exotic leathers. Because of the size of the rig, it gives a lot of area, a lot of scope for showing off. This one's in crocodile. People have had to make them in stingray, shark, and elephant, yeah. all kinds of materials. Yeah. I would say if you want to go exotic leather, this would be a great piece to do it with. It shows just, off. Yeah, it's so flashy, you know, <laughs> it's comfortable. You can wear it all the time, just show off. For tactical use and special needs, we do custom work. I just made this for one of my old customers. He's carrying his Glock. Six magazines in this tension retained case on the offside. And below his Glock is a sleeve for his suppressor. Yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> this is one of your customers that's one of my favorite guys. He speaks your language. Yeah, this is a fun rig right yeah, here. Certainly. Now, you can change this out if you don't want to carry the suppressor. You can put an extra magazine pouch below the gun to help counterbalance the ammo from okay. the other side. But I think we all agree, a suppressor is more fun. Absolutely. So how often do you get a request like this, Sam? Not terribly often for a setup like this, but every once in a while people have a perceived need for a special setup or mm -hmm. unusual gear. They can accommodate them. Yeah, it's very nice. Suppressors are becoming more and more commonplace. Uh, a lot of states have eased restrictions oh, on yes. it, making it easier for you to do the paperwork and get your suppressor. So I think every gun should have a suppressor on it. I can't argue that's with my, that. Yeah, that's my personal feeling. So what kind of guns can we do a Monarch rig in? I mean, obviously handguns. Pretty well all the popular guns. Uh, 1911s and Glocks, that's most of what I do. Okay. But with all the SIGs, Berettas, Smith & Wessons, revolvers, there's probably a couple of hundred guns. In okay, do you ever get any crazy requests like, you know, can I get my AK pistol? Can I have a rig so for my AK pistol? So far no one has asked for that, no? thank goodness. Please, someone <laughs> asked for that. No, that sounds good. No. 
you don't want to hear that. But do you do you ever get anything really big? Well, What's we've the... made them for Desert Eagles, okay. and of course for Raging Bulls and End Frames. Okay. There, there comes a certain point of diminishing returns right. when you're trying to hide. <laughs> certain yes. Size of gun. One of these days, we are going to do a how it's made on the Monarch. It's a lot more complicated. There's a lot more yeah. to it than yeah. the others we've done. Yeah, I, so I know people are asking about that out there. So it's going to take us some time to do that because it's very complicated. It's probably going to be a long video. That one is going to take some time. Yeah, so just hold on for that. Anything else you wanted to add, Sam? Uh, I think we covered all the bases. Okay, great. So if someone wants to get one of these rigs or anything else that you make, because you make holsters, you've got accessories now in leather, how do they order stuff on you? They can see it all online at andrewsleather.com for the catalog. To order, just call. The number is 386-462-0576. Okay, and you have to call. That's right. I know this is like high technology here on the <laughs> internet, but with Sam, you have to call. He's a great guy. You can talk to him. There's a lot of options and things like that, so definitely call. It right. makes it a lot easier we get it done right the first time. Absolutely. All right, Sam, thanks a lot Pleasure for going right. through that with us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow us on all the different things that we do. And Sam, you know how I end this, right? Peace. We did it. Right?